Okay, so I'm just loading up Kubuntu uh, on my Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, it's overclocked to 2 gigahertz with 750 megahertz on the 3D. Uh, it's not gonna be a long video um, because it's actually really quite slow on the Pi 4. Um, it's, uh, it's a lovely looking operating system, but uh, it's, uh, the visuals are very smooth and there's lots of fades and wipes and I've turned off a lot of those, but it's still uh, not as fast or as pleasurable to use as either Raspbian or Lubuntu, which would be my two sort of faster operating systems that I've tried. But if you want to install this for yourself, um, follow my Ubuntu video, uh, but then at around about, I think it's about 1 minute 45, where you, where you actually install the desktop, uh, you need to type in sudo apt-get install kubuntu-desktop. Uh, and then it will let you try this out. Uh, there's something else I did try in here. Uh, let's just log in. Uh, and that was, uh, you'll see it in the top left hand corner. You see, even little bits like this are definitely slower, um, but I can see on a more powerful operating system, this would be a, a, a really, uh, or more powerful hardware rather, this would be a much nicer operating system to look at. But, um, and it, and, it, and it looks very well constructed, you know, everything seems to be in a very logical place. But as you can see, it's still doing stuff. I'm doing this all kind of in real time. I started the recording slightly after I switched my Pi on. Uh, and so top left, you can see Steam, not Steam Link, but Steam. Uh, I did manage to get it installed. So if I click on it, you can see it's starting up down the bottom here. And it says it needs to install additional packages. And it goes ahead, but then it gets to a certain point and can't do any more. And I, my Linux skills are certainly, it's beyond me as to, to what I need to do at this stage. Um, so hit return and it just quits out. So let's just basically show you what it looks like. Uh, you've got, it's telling me what, I'm missing some libraries. That's to do with the Steam. So if I click at the top here, top right, uh, you can see Various different things come up, paste clipboard, contents, refresh desktop, show desktop, add widgets, activities. Looks really nice. I really like this background as well. Uh, if I click bottom left, uh, you can see I've got application launcher. And, and again, it's all very slow. And, and again, this is overclocked. Uh, and I'm running on a reasonably fast memory stick. Um, so you can see Firefox web browser. Uh, discover is where you install new software, uh, text editor, file management, which looks quite nice actually. Again, quite well handled. I like all these fonts and things on the side. I like the layout. It, it does look really nice. Uh, I guess this changes the size of things, does it? Yeah. Yeah, little things like that. Little t it's, it's a really nice operating system. So I can see on on more powerful hardware, I can see why you would definitely want to use this. And there may be ways of, of tweaking it to make it more usable. But I think the Pi deserves a very light operating system uh, just because it's a, a lower power device. Uh, let's go into system settings. Uh, I did go into lots of display settings and play around with trying to speed it up and things like that. Yeah, it, I, for, to me, this looks like a really nice operating system. Uh, and, and definitely seems to be really quite full featured. Strange how they do the applications. Um, so I can't move up and down here. Uh, I can, even if I hover, I would like it to open up here and, and show me what was under each bit. Instead, you have to click on it. Uh, and then I don't know how you go back from that, but you can see board, game, uh, board games, card games, so on. Oh, Steam's come up in games, look, so it automatically did that. I wonder if I press backspace if it goes back. No. So, back, oh, oh, I don't know, application. Yeah, I don't know how you go back. I'm tapping on applications now. I don't know how you go back to that. If I do favorites and then applications, yeah, it. I don't know how you go back through that to show what's there. If I get rid of it and call it back up again, uh, and you can, if you're searching for something, obviously you can type it in the top bit here and it will come up. So if I was doing is writer on there, writable. Uh, if I put in office, does anything come up? No. But uh, internet, what does that come up with? Oh, crikey, loads of things. Steam comes up under that as well. Uh, why does Steam come up on that? 
Okay. Uh, so let's click on that again. Applications, again, you might be screaming at the screen. If you use this operating system, you might know a different way of showing everything. Um, but I just want to, I like to show what's included. So you know if you're looking for a particular app, you can see it. So which version of Office comes. Uh, yeah, all different stuff, isn't it? K mail, K. I can't see a like a word type application there. But obviously it's Ubuntu, so you can install all sorts of things on it. Settings, system. And then let's click on utilities. Oh, and I tried to install Anbox, which is an Android emulation. Um, and I got it installed, but uh, it didn't, didn't really go any further. It just does this for a bit and then, then quits out. So down the bottom right hand corner, we've got notifications, uh, updates available, networks, volts, clipboard contents, volume. It just, to me, I, I really like the fonts, I really like the overall look of it. It just, uh, at this stage on the Pi 4, I don't think it's worth using as a, as a daily driver, as an operating system. Uh, the other thing I was, oh, I was going to show the, uh, oh, I started the Android. Uh, the other thing I was going to do, which I always do, is to call up a web browser. So uh, Firefox is the one that comes pre-installed. I might as well close down the, oh, it's closed itself. That was the Android bit. Oh, not minimize. I want to maximize. I prefer... I prefer a, uh, a square and a, and a dash to, to maximize and minimize, but that's a small thing. You get used to all these things. So let's do a little search. Actually, that seems to be all right, doesn't it? Oh, it's about it wrong. And got to try YouTube. So let's go back to BBC. I'm actually using a um, Logitech portable keyboard and trackpad, uh, which works with my iPad, uh, which I've done in a previous video. Uh, and it works really well, actually. Um, it's not as quick, it's not as nice as, as my Mac's trackpad, but it's a reasonable trackpad. It moves around reasonably well, and you can put two fingers on to move up and down. It's just, for me, it's a bit more convenient than having the the single mouse and keyboard, it's, it's easier to pack away because this is in my TV, so when I'm not using it, it's nice to just be able to put it out of the way. Uh, so let's go to YouTube and let's start playing a video. I think, to be honest, th this feels all right. I think, it's, I think it's the overall, it's the OS and the transitions and the extra detail that they've put in that makes it slower on this device. Uh, right, so let's just click on anything. And is it not going to give me? Oh, it's because it's an advert in it. So I think always go for 720. Let's get it full screen and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's a bit jerky in it. Nothing's perfect for YouTube uh, on the Pi 4. Um, certainly. Uh, Raspbian and Lubuntu were better. That is better windowed. Yeah, that's definitely more watchable windowed. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I'm going to do on that. Um, someone's asked me to try Manjaro. I've just downloaded that. I'll have a look at that as well. Um, but uh, let's close this down. Oh, and show you how it, it shuts down. So this just looks rather nice. Uh, oh, what's history on there? Yeah, that's, that's quite nice because it's showing you your recent uh, applications, things like that. So we go to leave and then you can see you've got sh uh, shutdown, restart, sleep and so on. So I have a tap on shutdown and then it gives me like a 30 second, there you go, shutting down in 29, 26. So hit shutdown and thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.